lesson, we're going to get a little bit more advanced. And I'm going to show you how to add an information box. This is basically great if you're a vacation rental and you want to draw some attention to buy now or basically reserve now or you want to link to a, uh, another part of a uh, website for you or for your customer. So we're going to continue on here with this Crested Butte vacation rental. And over here on the left side for the info box hotspots, you've got some choices over here. So pick the one that works out best for you. And we're going to pick a standard information box which contains both text and a graphic. So we're going to choose make a reservation. We're going to make the box a little big because we're going to have some uh, text to put in here. And you might want to write some compelling copy, especially if you're trying to get people to book a reservation, say at a luxury resort or a cabin or some kind of uh, personal vacation rental. And we also want to put in a URL, which will be the call to action for the reservation or the booking engine. And of course, a graphic. And the graphic here might be a nice little red phone. It could be an information box with a question mark. Pretty much it's up to your imagination. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to put in a URL and some things here. We're not sure what that is yet, so we're going to hit save. And if you scroll down here to the bottom, you'll find that your information box has been saved. And there's all your information there. So we can always come back and hit edit once we have some more information. So let's go look around here and find ourselves a good graphic to put inside the information box. And let's not forget about our URL. All right, so we have this nice little red phone graphic we're going to go and put perhaps on my desktop, which I'm going to drag over here, and that's the red phone that I want to use. So we're going to drag that on over. We're then going to, of course, go back to the VPix Tour Manager and add that. So we're going to hit Edit over here on our box, and there it is. So we're going to go ahead and add the Choose file. And when you click on that, I'm going to go back to my desktop. I'm going to hit Name and scroll down to the red phone and there it is so we're going to hit choose and basically it's going to be there in a moment now we're going to add the url we're going to go to so i've copied that url i'm going to paste that url here and i'm going to get rid of that little forward slash and then basically we can choose a call to action like click here and that would be basically when they click on it it actually goes to that actual link for that website address Okay, so it looks like we've got everything here. It's all set. We've got our informational hotspot graphic. We've got our URL, and we have some text written. Okay, we can go back to our Crested Butte project, and we can go down and click Add Edit Hotspots. And we're going to go into the kitchen here, and right over here, we're going to basically put this little icon so that people can actually click here and make a reservation. So we've got a bunch of icons already loaded here into our hotspot library. So we're going to scroll over here to the right until we find the right one that we want to pick. And we've got a cool little red phone icon. And we want to go over here and we're going to select the name, which is called Make a Reservation. That's the uh, info uh, information hotspot box that we created. And you can choose white text on black or black text on white. All right, so our phone icon is there. We hit Update Pano. We always got to click the orange box here at the bottom of your project. Always have to do this, so don't forget. Click the Create Update Tour. Okay, now we can go back over here to the blue link on Click Tour for Customers, and the virtual tour will load. We can certainly see that this is the outside front of the uh, cabin. We're going to click in here to the kitchen scroll around and there's of course your red phone icon make a reservation now if you're not really happy you know with this graphic as you kind of mouse over it as you can see it doesn't stand out very well and when you click on it yeah white text on a black background maybe not that good so let's go ahead and maybe uh, try this on for size but nah let's change our mind here and let's get rid of this so we're going to go back over here and edit that informational hotspot box and we're going to go over here and we're going to go over to the hotspot over here and I want to delete this so we're going to delete the icon but not the box itself so we're going to right click on this and you'll see the pop up hit the delete previously hotspot and there you go now we're going to go to add hotspot 
and double click. And let's pick this one. This one's a little brighter, a little more obvious. Nice little information box with a question mark. We're gonna choose make a reservation. This time, black text on a white background might be a little bit better. And of course, we're going to hit save hotspot. Don't get distracted with things like link to URL and other types of areas. That's not for you. Right now, we have the info box, which is the second drop down. And we're going to go ahead and just mouse over that. And you see that looks a little bit better. Click on the update panel. We again have to go down to the bottom and click the create update tour. And now we're all ready to test this thing out. So now let's go back over here to the tour link for our customers and take a look at that kitchen tour. And let's show you how much better this looks. It's new and improved. So we're going to click on the little arrow. We're going to scroll over here to the, ah, look at that. Stands out a little bit more. All right, make a reservation. And when you click on the click here, it actually takes you right to the web page you want to direct them to. So that's how you add information boxes to your VPix tours.